What's up, Reapers? Welcome back to the crypt. Um, got a bit of a, uh, stack of CDs I've been jamming recently. I jammed some of them today. Um, I know I've been doing these a lot, but I like showing what I've been spinning and maybe... Uh, rekindling some love for bands or showing you guys new bands. Um, I've been on a very big Count Blagroth kick as well as Classy um, Metal uh, Lonnie. Um, I also have been on a kick for like stoner metal and rock. So if you guys have any uh suggestions because like i know electric wizard and um sleep are pretty popular um i don't know what would really be considered like stoner rock i always kind of thought of like pink floyd and the doors as stoner rock um i know that might not make sense to some people but yeah um but a lot of these are favorites of mine um that they kind of rekindled my uh joy for and some that i just found through them uh first up this is a pretty well-known album uh i'd be surprised if you didn't know it this is metallica with their self-titled or the black album probably my favorite metallica album i mean it really depends on the day it's between Ride the Lightning, Master of Puppets, as those are like my favorites of the early era. Although I love Kill 'em All as well, and this one. Um. Yeah, but like if I had to, yeah, those those three like rival each other as my favorites. Um. I've been listening to a lot of Aborted, but I don't have the ones that I've been listening to so. Next up, I, both of these albums I've been loving the hell out of lately. Celtic Frost, To Megatherion, um, To Megatherion, however you want to say that. This is, I believe, actually the, yes, this is the expanded edition. And, uh, all the Tom G. Warrior stuff I have, including my Hellhammer CD, has packaging like this and then um i've been digging them a lot more i've been watching uh count blagros video on his top 10 songs in tom g warriors uh discography or whatever you want to call it whatever it was called um really good stuff uh the Ursifer, Circle of the Tyrants, really good fucking song, and then, maybe my favorite, I mean, I'm not just well invert, endorsed into Celtic Frost, um, I do have a poster of this album right off screen, Morbid Tales, which I got this for Christmas, Um, last year, which is what actually led me to get to Megatherium, which might actually be my, uh, like, third favorite. Um, depend, because I, I, I need more time with the other albums, but I've been listening to Morbid Tales and Monotheist. Which, Monotheist might actually be my favorite if I listen to it enough. But, like I said, all the, I love, I love the liner notes, and yes, the, uh, CDs do actually flip over like that, and actually this is what it looks like, um, yeah, I mean, come on, uh, Procreation of the Wicked. Return to the Eve. And then there's like a bunch of uh, bonus tracks that are rehearsal tracks like Morbid Tales, Messiah, Procreation of the Wicked, and Nocturnal Fear. 
I like Dethrone Emperor is also a really good song. Um, Celtic Frost, man, I've, yeah. Next up is Unearth. This is actually one of my favorite metalcore bands. This is really weird. So this is the standard jewel case. If I can get it back in the slip case. And then, and I know Count Blagroth actually has this exact same version. And this is where the DVD is. Which I thought was really weird. I mean, it's really cool. Uh, their new album. The Wretched and the Ruinous. Oh my god. Guys, that fucking album. Oh shit, I forgot one. Oh, it won't be a fucking... Um, Grim Reviews fucking video without me forgetting something. What? Anyway. Um, but yeah, this is Unearthed with The March. Uh, My Will Be The... My Will Be Done. Hell the Shrine. Co Crow Killer. The March. Overall, solid fucking stuff, and I need to get the rest of their stuff. I am a pretty, I, I don't want to say big fan of metalcore, because, like, it's not my favorite genre, but it is a genre I have dabbled in, and, uh, between the YouTubers that I watch, I do know quite a bit. I've seen a few metalcore bands and i know some will be like oh well you like these bands huh they're cringe fuck you i don't have shame in what i listen to and most of this stuff i found through youtubers or i just got uh blind by uh oh so there you go next up is one of the very first if not the very first ever metalcore album I ever heard and bought. Cherubium Ascendancy. This is the special edition. So it's got two CDs. Or it's got a CD and a DVD. Yeah. So there's the DVD. And then... Go. Um. Pull harder on the strings of your martyr. Ascendancy, a gunshot to the head of trepidation. Like light to the flies, dying in your arms, suffocating sight. Their cover, of Master of Puppets, is really good, and I actually prefer the uh. Um. The uh, radio edit of Dying in Your Arms. I think the uh, melodic singing part when he does the cut you out part is much better. But yeah, like, I, I love old Trivium. The new stuff is eh. And I do actually own... What the dead men say, but that's a whole other story. And I actually have a shirt from when I saw them opening for Lamb of God and Megadeth. And I regret not having a shirt from Megadeth uh, from that particular show. Because I did get a... I got a tour tee, long sleeve, and hoodie. And the tee and long sleeve say two completely different places and neither of them are even close to where I live but whatever next up I posted this a few days ago vile ritual yeah vile ritual with caverns of occultic hatred holy hell if you like black and death metal and you just want something that's really fucking just aggressive and in your face that might be it 
<clears throat> next up, I got this yesterday, and I know I posted an, an unboxing, and I probably, I might not do that. I might actually uh, delete that video, um, just because, like, I want to um, have my videos be more entertaining than just showing one CD. Now, if it's a box set, that's one thing, but, um, this is, Venusburg Cardinal with Altered Atlas of Dungeons, excuse me, if you like black metal, and you haven't heard this, this came out this year, and this already, mm. and I was really happy because I know a lot of people are going to give me shit for using Spotify, but I like using Spotify um, because it's just, I don't know, it's easy for me, um, but I was really excited to see that this was on there. Because, um, like, I, I use Bandcamp, but I don't like the fact that I have to go back and be, like, pl play every time an album ends. I like having it on loop so it just gets repeated. Um, if that makes sense, and I can also make a giant playlist. Um, but this is black metal for fucking days. I mean riffs upon riffs i'm so glad classy metal uh lonnie showed this in a video because i immediately bought it as soon as he showed that he was like that's black metal for days i was like i gotta fucking check this shit out next up is actually my favorite album from this band and uh yeah i got atheist with unquestionable presence wow i should have known that um I've actually seen Atheist twice now, and I actually got to stage dive when I saw them this year opening for Cynic, and I actually met, um, fuck, holy shit, why can't I think of his name, it's a vocalist, now we got a fucking... Um, I fucking know his name, too. Kelly Schaefer, wow. Um, he was really nice, got a photo with him. Uh, he actually gave me a pointer on how to, uh, stage dive better. Um, which I thought was really cool of him. Uh, awesome fucking dude, down to earth. Uh, I actually got a set list from them. It was so cool, actually, being able to stage dive. I've never done that before. So, yeah. Next up, Church of Disgust with Weakest is the Flesh. This is filthy death metal, and I absolutely fucking love it. This was fun last night, and um, I nearly broke my neck headbanging it. it is so fucking good and it rips for fucking days my god days all right anyway <laughs> this is encophonized with uh chambers of deprivation yeah really good filthy death metal this has like three demo tracks and for some reason it only played the first seven tracks i don't know why it didn't play the demo tracks um because it's only one uh disc but really fucking good 
Next up, I fucking worship this band. And bringing back into them. Um, this is Revenge with Victory, Intolerance, Mastery. I love this fucking album. I mean, I don't know if I can really say there's a favorite. Maybe their most recent release from, like, 2021. But Revenge is just a band that I love, love, love to death. And then I actually spun this today along with that uh, in Coffin Eyes. This is a demo that when uh, I saw the video from um, Count Blackroth on this band, I immediately knew I had to get it because he's never really steered me wrong in terms of songs or albums. Um, Proclamation with the Imperious Jaws of Ire. I cannot tell you where I bought this because I don't fucking remember. I want to get a Proclamation fucking flag hoodie hat. I want as much fucking Proclamation merch and music in my fucking collection now since I got into them um yeah thank you all for watching thank you for subscribing and as always keep it grim